Hello my friends and welcome to another art journaling video using Art by Marlene's Christmas stamps along with stamps from her two earlier collections and I will link to them all at Sari Stamping Studio in the description box below. I start by stamping my images and first up is this cute Santa. I'm quite particular about Santas but this one was just perfect and I stamped my Santa on watercolor cardstock in Versafine Clear Nocturne Ink which is permanent and waterproof. When I stamp I hold it down and rub every inch of the image letting the ink seep into the paper. When I have a good impression I stamp the Santa again but only parts of him to use the paper up but also because I intend to paper piece him together with lots of dimension. When I have all the details I need from the Santa I bring out these beautiful Christmas flowers and stamp them once on my watercolor cardstock and then another time on masking paper and cut myself a mask. I place my mask carefully over the stamped image and then I bring out a favorite from the sophisticated collection, the f puffy fish, and I stamp my fish over the mask in Versafine Claire Nocturne Ink. I remove the mask and now my fish has a Christmas hat. Next I want to use this amazing swan from the Out of This World collection, but first I stamp those Christmas flowers again. I place the mask over the flowers and then I bring out the stamp with Christmas gifts from the new collection and I stamp them over the masked flowers. Before I remove the mask I take that swan and stamp it over the masked flowers as well. And when I remove the mask I have a gift bearing Christmas decorated swan. Next I need that nutcracker and I stamp him next to the swan and once again I stamp him a few more times so I can paper piece him later. I bring out the crab from the sophisticated collection and stamp him in Versafine Clear Nocturne Ink. This time I don't have to cut a mask, I already have one from an earlier project and I place the mask on the crab. Next I place the Merry Christmas sign so the crab is holding it up and stamp it over the mask. I place the submarine from the sophisticated collection with the crazy octopus steering it in my stamping platform and stamp it. I also need quite a few Christmas ornaments so I stamp them too and I place the Merry Christmas sign on the submarine and stamp it as well. I also stamp this gorgeous seahorse from the sophisticated collection along with more Christmas flowers and the puffy fish because I need his air tank. So let's color my images. Art by Marlene has acrylic paint but I don't have them. I hope Santa might bring them. So this time I used dilution paint and shimmer paint starting with pomegranate seed for the Santa outfit. I left quite a bit of coloring in thinking those who don't like it can fast forward. 
and I do the same as you have seen me do before. I water down the acrylics so they are less opaque, and I color by using the undiluted paint for shadows, and the paint diluted with water to fill in the rest. While I paint, I want to know how you are doing. Are you healthy and okay during these uncertain times? I know life has been rough all around these last few years. I myself are battling Eladano syndrome with a lot of pain and muscle cramps and I have my twin boys who are the light of my life as well as the husband of course. I must say these videos and crafting has been a welcome and happy place for me and I am grateful that you are here. Give me a comment if you have the time to let me know you. For the Santa beard and eyebrows I used Illusion Slate Grey ink and I blend it out with water to give the beard some shadows. I paint the Santa belt in bubblegum pink shimmer paint. On his hat I use a combination of bubblegum pink and postbox red, shimmer paint and the dark pomegranate sea. For his face I bring out my Prima Complexion watercolor palette. I use postbox red shimmer paint and pomegranate seed for the air tank on the puffy fish. Next I color the amazing puffy fish and his flower hat. For the fish I used bubblegum pink and tangerine dream shimmer paints diluted with water and for his flower eye I used postbox red shimmer paint. For the gorgeous seahorse I used pure sunshine, tangerine dream and bubblegum pink shimmer paints and a gold gel pen for the horn. The Christmas ornaments are colored with different combinations of pomegranate seed, postbox red, tangerine dream and bubblegum pink. When coloring the nutcracker I use the slate grey ink for the hair and beard. My Gansai Tambi metallic watercolors and pomegranate seed paint. I added postbox red for the nutcracker's pan. For the sign holding crab I used postbox red and for the sign fresh lime and polished jade shimmer paint. 
Now, I am unsure about the names of the Christmas flowers in English, but I will give it a go. For the holly berries and poisonetta, I used bubblegum pink. For the big leaves, I used polished jade. For the bigger green leaf branches, I used fresh lime. And for the smaller, I used cut grass, all shimmer paint. There, I managed to talk about them without naming them. Oh no, I was wrong. I used postbox red for the poisonetta. For the air around the swan, I used calypso teal shimmer paint. And for the swan's vehicle, I used calypso teal and crushed grapes. The flowers are colored the same as before, and for the gifts, I used pomegranate seed, postbox red, crushed grapes, tangerine dream, and bubblegum pink. I colored the swan's beak and feet with tangerine dream. The submarine is colored with pure sunshine, postbox red for the sign and bubblegum pink for the crazy submarine driver. After all that coloring I need to let loose a bit when it comes to the background and I use a brayer and paints in vibrant turquoise, London blue, crushed grapes and after midnight. But first I use blue Hawaiian and a baby wipe and I cover almost the whole background. Then I brayer on the paint lightest to darkest, not perfect at all, leaving some white here and there. When the background is dry, I bring out a stencil from the sophisticated release and icing paste from Finnabear. I use a palette knife to add the paste in random places around my background. After the icing paste I used texture paste from Ranger and a chunky gold embossing powder. With another sophisticated stencil I pushed the paste through the stencil making seaweeds and covering them in that gold powder. If you want a smoother result you can use a finer embossing powder but I like the chunky gold texture. I stencil in those seaweeds along the bottom of the sea and pages.
When I have enough seaweeds, I melt the embossing powder with my heat tool. Finally, I get into the details. I put two pairs of eyebrows on each other and do the same with Santa's boots, belt, beard, hat and cuffs. Then I put foam tape behind the double paper details and glue them in place, making a lot of dimension. These details are certainly not necessary and they don't show up well on camera but these are the things I like to do and when I run my fingers over the pages I can feel the dimension and small details. I do the same procedure on the nutcracker, paper piecing his crown hat, boots and beard and popping them up on foam tape. I also used glossy accents to enhance the bubbles around the swan and the eye on the puffy fish. I lost the footage of me gluing these images in place and putting the pages together, but gluing isn't the best part to watch and I left you with plenty of finished pictures. Now these mixed media Christmas or journaling pages are finished. Thank you so much for following along and I hope you will pop by soon again. Until the next time, Merry Christmas!